Hi there. This video will give you a quick overview of the wave editing features utilized in Cable Guy's products. Both deeply powerful and quick to use, these features form the core of the user experience across many of the different pieces of software Cable Guys produce. Let's have a look at the wave editing window, a huge drawing area where you can add click points to create waveforms or modulations. This massive visualizer takes incoming audio and displays it in real time providing plenty of visual data to make your editing easier. You can add individual points by clicking wherever you like in the window. Each point you add defaults to a soft point, which has a gentle curve, but you can turn them into medium or hard points by right-clicking on the point or delete them by double-clicking. This flexibility allows for very soft, fluid modulations or sharp staccato edits. Most wave editing windows have a Maximize button. This enlarges the window and allows for more precise and easier editing functions. Within the window, shift clicking and dragging allows for multiple point selection. These multiple points can then be dragged in any direction or scaled to control their behavior. There are also a number of tools accessible just underneath and to the right of the editing space. The delete button allows for the deletion of any selected points, and if no points are selected, this button will delete everything. Next up, the Undo and Redo buttons allow for reverting events if you make a mistake or your auditioning changes. These left and right buttons shift all points accordingly. If a number of points are selected, these buttons simply move the selected points. Shift clicking on the left-right buttons allow for more precise and subtle movements. This step drawing tool allows you to insert quick stepped adjustments. Very handy for creating transgate style effects in programs like Volume Shaper. In Curve, this tool is very handy for creating melodies, a technique I'll show you in another video. This Randomize button inserts random points for some quick inspiration, which can be a great starting point for a new sound or modulation. If you already have some points in the window, the Randomize button will simply randomize their values without adding or subtracting any points. This Snap to Grid button controls whether points are free-floating or stick to the grid lines, which is useful for switching between rhythmic and more free-flowing sounds. In addition, shift-clicking on a point and moving it toggles the Snap to Grid behavior. If the grid is enabled, shift-clicking it disables it for the movement of the point, and if it is disabled, shift-clicking enables it. Right-clicking in the window off of a point allows for access to many of the utilities, including adding steps and flipping the wave horizontally or vertically. This copy function allows you to add your waveform to the clipboard, which is very useful in Volume Shaper as it allows you to copy your modulation to the other bands of the plugin. In Curve, this is useful for copying waveforms from one oscillator to another. This Show Triplets toggle allows you to switch the grid from straight beat to triplet format, which is great for some interesting rhythmic variation. So, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you picked up some of the excellent techniques you can use while editing in the main waveform windows. Have fun getting busy with your Cable Guys software.